Welcome to this YSL Report Builder tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at the set of logical operators in Report Builder. So we're going to be looking at how to combine conditions with logical operators. We'll start with the two symbol ones, OR, followed by AND. We'll then look at ways to short circuit the OR and AND operators with a couple of variations. We'll also look at how to write exclusive OR conditions. And we'll finish the video with a quick look at reversing logic using the NOT operator. So let's get started. OK, I've started a brand new blank report in Report Builder, and the first thing I'll do in it is create a data source which connects to the Movies database. Just a quick reminder, if you don't already have the Movies database installed, you can use this video to help you get it up and running. Assuming you've done that already, I can right click on the data sources folder and use add data source. And then I can give my data source a name, I'll call it Movies as I usually do. I'll create a connection embedded in the report, click the build button to help write the connection string, enter the name of my server, which in this case is dot backslash SQL 2017, and then select the database name from the drop down list towards the bottom. So in this case, I'll select movies. I'll click OK a couple of times, and then I can create a basic data set. So let's right click on the movies data source and choose add data set. I'll call the data set films, and then I'll use the query designer to help me quickly select the columns from the film table that I'll need. So from the tables folder, I can expand the film table. I'll include the title, followed by the box office dollars and the Oscar wins, just three fields this time. I can then click OK and OK again when the query has been created for me. And then let's add a basic table to display those three columns. I'll get rid of any objects in the report already by selecting them and deleting them and then removing the page footer by right clicking on it and choosing remove page footer. I'll replace the content with a new blank table by right clicking and choosing insert table. And then simply assign those three fields to the three available columns. So title, box office and Oscar wins. I'll just position the table in the top left hand corner. I'm going to modify the font properties just to avoid the, the text display bug, which you may have encountered if I switch the font to a different one and then switch it back to its original. When I run the report, I should be able to see all of the results. I'm just going to do one last thing and sort this table so that the most um, profitable one or the one with the highest box office dollars appears at the top of the list. So back in the design view, I'm going to click into the table first and then right click on one of the gray boxes around the outside so that I can choose tablix or tablix properties. From there, I can hit the sorting page and then click the add button, choose to sort by box office dollars and change the sort order to descending or Z to A. When I click OK and then just quickly run the report again, there we go, the, the film with the highest box office dollars sits at the top of that list. The first calculated field I'll add to this data set will create a column which describes a film as a success or a failure. And to be a success, the film must either have a box office dollars of greater than a billion dollars, or it must have won at least one Oscar. So I've got two separate conditions to test for which determine if the film is a success. Let's right click on the film's data set and choose add calculated field. We can then create a new column name. I'll call this one success with or. We'll have several different versions of this column using different uh, operators and functions. So success with or, and then we can click the FX button at the right hand side to launch the expression builder. We'll use an if function to test this condition. And if you've done this before, you'll know that you can expand the common functions category and head to program flow and find the if function in there. So if you can't be bothered to typing it in yourself, you can just double click the if function name to have it typed in and the set of round brackets or parentheses open for you. The first condition I'll test for, I'll check whether the Oscar wins is greater than zero. So I'll head back to the fields category and then double click Oscar wins so that I don't have to type that in myself and then say greater than zero. Now I need to combine this condition with a second condition. And in this case, I want to check if either of these two conditions have been met in order to return success. So to compare multiple conditions in the same if statement, you'll need to combine it with a logical operator. If I head the operators category and expand that and then select the logical or bitwise category. I'll see a bunch of different logical operators in this section. The one I'm going to use in this case is called OR. Now this is used to perform, as you can see from the description, two separate tests. And if either return true, then the whole thing returns true. 
So I can either double click to insert that or I could have typed it in myself and I will want to put a space either side of the OR operator there as well. Then I can build my second expression, my second logical test. So I can head back to the fields list. I can then double click box office dollars. In this case, I'll type in greater than or equal to, and then type in a one followed by nine zeros. So for one billion. I can then type in a comma to move to the second parameter of the if function, and the argument I'll pass to that parameter will be the word success. So if either of those two conditions have been met, I'll return success. I can then type in a comma and then open up some more double quotes and type in the word failure. So if neither condition returns true, the result will be failure. So that's the entire expression written out. That's what it should look like. Let's give it a quick try. If we click OK and then OK again, we can then add the success with or column to the table just by clicking and dragging it from the fields list hit the run button to check the results and there we go so at the top of the list the films that have made more than a billion dollars are all reported as success and then a little bit further down when the uh, box office dollars drops below a billion we can still see that films winning at least one oscar are reported as a success whereas everything else is considered to be a failure it's a little bit unfair but hey that's the example we're going to go for Next, let's see how the AND operator works. We'll combine the same two conditions, but using AND instead of OR. And to avoid writing out the exact same expression again, let's right click on the existing one and choose Field Properties. We can then click on the FX button to launch the expression builder and then simply copy what we've typed in there. I'll copy everything except for the equals operator there. I can then close down that uh, expression builder dialog box. And while I still have the dataset properties dialog box open, I can click the add button to add a new calculated field. I'll call this new one success with and, and then I can click the FX button on the right hand side to open up the expression builder again. I'll then just paste in what I've copied. And this time I'll replace the or operator with the word and instead. So in this case, both conditions must be met in order for the if function to return success. Let's click OK and OK again. We can then drag in this new column to the table and then run the report. And we'll see that at the top of the list now we have some differences between the OR and AND versions. So the first two films have a, a, at least one Oscar win and a box office of greater than a billion. So they are both successful. Then films with a large box office but no Oscars are all reported as failures. Lower down we've got some more successes and then anything below the cutoff of the Dark Knight. So the, this is basically the last, the, or sorry, the first film which made a billion dollars or more, everything below that will report failure. OK, so that's the, the basic difference between AND and OR. In Report Builder, both the OR and the AND operators have a short circuit version, which can potentially improve performance when you're testing multiple conditions. Just to demonstrate quickly how that works, I'm going to right click on the success with OR and choose Field Properties. And just in case I don't still have it copied to the clipboard, I'll click the FX button again and then copy the same expression we started with. I'll then click Cancel and then choose to add a new calculated field. I'll call this one success with OR ELSE, which sounds a bit like an ultimatum, but that's actually the name of the next operator. OR ELSE is the short circuit version of OR. I could then click the FX button to launch the expression builder and then paste in the expression I've just copied. Just to have a quick look in the operators category and the logical subcategory again, you'll find the or else and the and also operators listed in the same list along with and and or. The example I'm going to use in this case is or else. Now the difference between or and or else is that with the standard or operator, the conditions on both sides of the operator are always evaluated. The difference with or else is that if the first condition returns true, then it doesn't bother evaluating the second one. There's no point. We want to return success if either of these two things are true. So if we establish that Oscar wins is already greater than zero, it doesn't really make sense to test whether box office dollars is also greater than a billion because we don't need to. We know that we're going to get success. So with or else, the example, the, the results will still be the same. If I click OK and OK again, I can add in the success with or else and I'll drop this just next to the or example. So I'll put that in between the or and the and examples. 
when I run the report, we'll still get exactly the same results, but there's a potential for performance improvements if we're not testing uh, every condition every single time. The AND operator also has a short circuit version, as we've just seen, it's called AND ALSO. So just to create a new calculated field which demonstrates how that works, if I add a new calculated field, I'm going to assume I still have my expression copied to the clipboard, so I'm going to say success with AND ALSO. I'll click the FX button and then I'll paste in the same expression I copied earlier on. So that's the one using the OR operator. Now I'll change this one to using AND ALSO rather than just AND. And in a similar way, this will shortcut if it finds that the field's Oscar wins value is greater than zero. As long as that's true, it will then continue and evaluate the second condition to test if that is also true. If Oscar wins value greater than zero returns false, then it doesn't bother going on to test the second condition because it makes no difference. Both of these conditions have to be met in order to return success. So if the first one fails, it's pointless testing the second one. So again, there's a possibility of getting some performance benefits from using AND ALSO rather than just AND. If I click OK a couple of times and then we can drop in the success with AND ALSO into the table, we can run the report and just compare these two columns. We should be getting exactly the same results with AND 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 ALSO, but the evaluation works slightly differently internally. Now let's look at a slight variation of the OR operator. I'd like to include another possibility for my films. I'd like to be able to describe them as a partial success if only one of our two conditions has been met. If both conditions have been met, they will be a complete success. If neither condition has been met, they will be a failure. So to do that, I'm going to add a new calculated field to my dataset. I'm going to call this one success with X or. The X stands for exclusive, so it tests if only one of the two conditions is true. I'll hit the FX button to launch the expression builder, and this time I'm going to use the switch function rather than the if function. There are three possibilities here, so rather than writing a nested if, I'll use the switch function instead. I can open up the common functions category and go to program flow, and then double click the switch function to have that inserted for me. I'll try that again, there we go. Okay, the first thing I'd like to do then is check whether the Oscar wins is greater than zero. So back to the fields list, double click Oscar wins, greater than zero. I can then either type in or go to the operators category and go to the logical category and double click the X or operator. I can then type in my second condition. So this time I'll go for the fields list and I'll double click the box office dollars and I'll go for greater than or equal to and then a one followed by nine zeros. So greater than or equal to one billion. I'll then type in a comma and if either if only one of those two conditions, I should say, has been met, then I want to return partial success. So it must be that only one of the two conditions has been met. I can then type in a comma and this time I'm going to copy and paste. So I'm going to copy everything from after the open parenthesis all the way to the end of partial success, copy that and then paste it in. For the second condition I'm going to then, or the second pair of conditions, I'm going to change the X or operator back to the standard AND. I can also, of course, do the AND ALSO operator if I prefer. If both of those conditions have been met, I can say um, complete success. And then if both of those conditions have failed, then the film is a failure. So I can add a final condition, I'll just shortcut this to true. There's no point explicitly testing that both conditions have failed. That must be the case if I reach this stage. So I'll enter a shortcut of true, followed by another comma, and then in some double quotes, the word failure. I can then close the parentheses and that's the entire switch function written. If I then click OK and OK again, I can add the success with XOR column to my table and then run the report just to check the results. So the first couple of films in the list have matched both conditions, so they're described as a complete success. The next few have only matched one of the two conditions and exclusively one of the two conditions. So I've got um, the, the budget, sorry, beg your pardon, the box office is at least a billion dollars, but the Oscar wins is zero. 
Scrolling down, we can get past that then and find some failures. So when both conditions fail, the film is a failure. And then again, when I see only one of the two conditions met, I get partial success. There's one final logical operator we haven't encountered yet in this video, and that one's called NOT. NOT allows you to reverse the logic of a condition you're testing, so it will convert a true to a false, and vice versa. Just to show you a very basic example of how that works, I'm going to right click on the success with AND field that we created earlier, and choose Field Properties. I'm then going to click the FX button at the right hand side, and then select and copy everything except for the initial equals operator at the beginning of that expression. I can then cancel from the Expression Builder dialog, then choose to add a new calculated field, and I'll call this new one success with and and not. I can then click the FX button and paste in the expression that I've just copied. Now I'd like to reverse the way I'm returning the two values for this function. So I want to re return failure when my condition returns true, and I want to return success when my condition returns false. In order to make that work, I have to reverse the value returned by this pair of conditions. So to make that work, I'm going to wrap that pair of conditions in a new set of round brackets or parentheses. And then to reverse the result returned, the true to a false and the false to a true, I'm going to place the not operator immediately in front of those conditions. The not operator works slightly differently to the other logical operators we've encountered so far. Things like AND and OR, etc., all sit between two logical tests. The NOT operator always sits in front of a logical test to reverse the true to a false and the false to a true. So having done that, if I click OK and then click OK again, I can drag this new column in. Let me sit this one just next door to the success with AND, so just before the X OR expression. If I then run the report again, I can see that this new column returns the exact same results as the previous two with AND 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 also. So I get success only when both box office is greater than or equal to a billion and Oscar wins is greater than zero, and failure under any other circumstances. It was a bit of a convoluted example to, uh, to demonstrate how NOT works, and you'll see NOT used in, in some slightly simpler situations in later videos. But it was worthwhile just including in this video so we've seen the full suite of logical operators.